Um, what's inside? Come inside, see for yourself. Two and a half years ago, when I first read the script for Lodge 49, Atlanta would not come to mind at first because it's about Long Beach. The problem with shooting in Los Angeles for us on the budget that we had is that it was cost prohibitive. And because of the Georgia incentive, we're able to afford a show that would normally cost a million or two million more per episode if we were shot almost anywhere else. I just need to know, like, how much does it cost to join? Oh, yeah. Two. 2000. So there's no question the money that we're offered to bring work to Georgia is one of the big drawing cards. All right, what do you give me for this? That you can go there and actually put together a group that's at least as skilled as any other city that I've ever worked in the world makes it a pleasure. And what I delight in and I'm very impressed by is watching all the people kind of grow up around me and become really great at what they do. Hello. One of the other benefits of Atlanta is that there is such a wide variety of architecture and terrain that there were some exteriors that we could shoot in Georgia that we didn't intend to. So we could save the things that were really precious to us for Long Beach. How much for the lollipops? Those are $15 each. Are you serious? You're paying for quality, that's my own blend. What Georgia proved to me was that it could double, just as LA can, for a variety of different places. And the more I now pay attention to what gets shot where, the more I'm amazed by the number of films and television shows that shoot in Georgia for other places. Where's she going? How long did you say you were? I'm at AMC for a long period of time, and I read many different projects. Atlanta is always in the running as a production center for any project that comes my way, because now I've learned you can shoot almost anything there. On Lodge 49, we did Long Beach. So I have not seen the last of Atlanta.